Welcome to another episode of Exam Bytes, where we break down complex financial topics to make them more understandable. Today, we delve into the recent announcement by the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, regarding the discontinuation of the Incremental Cash Reserve Ratio, or ICRR. To fully grasp the significance of this move, we need to start with the basics. Cash Reserve Ratio CRR The CRR is a percentage of total deposits that banks are required to maintain as liquid cash with the RBI. Currently set at 4.5%, this reserve ensures that banks always have enough cash on hand to meet the payment demands of depositors. What is ICRR? The Incremental Cash Reserve Ratio, or ICRR, is an additional cash balance that the RBI can ask banks to maintain above the regular CRR, but only for a specific period. In August 2023, the RBI announced that banks would need to maintain an ICRR of 10% on the increase in their net demand and time liabilities between May 19, 2023, and July 28, 2023. Why ICRR was needed The need for ICRR arose due to excessive liquidity in the banking system. This liquidity posed risks to both price stability and financial stability. Factors such as the return of 2,000 rupees banknotes, RBI's surplus transfer to the government, increased government spending, and capital inflows led to this excess liquidity. ICRR was introduced as a temporary measure to absorb this surplus liquidity, amounting to over 1 rupee lakh crore. Discontinuation of ICRR The liquidity situation in the banking system changed after the introduction of ICRR. On August 21, the banking system's liquidity turned deficit for the first time in the fiscal year, standing at 23,644.43 rupees crore. However, the liquidity situation fluctuated, eventually returning to surplus on August 24. The RBI absorbed 76,047 rupees crore of surplus liquidity on September 8. Given these developments, the RBI decided to discontinue the ICRR in a phased manner. Releasing impounded funds, to ensure a smooth transition, the RBI will release the impounded funds gradually. On September 9, 25% of the funds maintained under ICRR will be released. Another 25% will be released on September 23, and the remaining 50% on October 7. This gradual release ensures that the banking system's liquidity is not subjected to sudden shocks, particularly as we approach the festival season when credit demand tends to rise. And there you have it, a breakdown of the RBI's decision to discontinue the incremental cash reserve ratio, ICRR. This move reflects the evolving liquidity conditions in the banking system and aims to ensure the orderly functioning of money markets. Thank you for joining us in this episode. For more insights into financial and economic matters, stay tuned for our upcoming episodes.